In this short technical demonstration, we'll examine the technical issue related to OctaVerify and multi-factor enrollment policies. This technical blocker, labeled here, is displayed when multi-factor policies that include OctaVerify have been disabled without disabling the OctaVerify push notification option first. This configuration will require a two-step process of re-enabling OctaVerify in the policy and disabling the push notifications. Once saved, you can then re-edit the policy to disable OctaVerify. So, let's run through these steps. As you can see, I'm logged in to the admin console and I have a multi-factor policy where OctaVerify is currently disabled. So I'll click Edit, and I'm going to change OctaVerify to Optional. And now as you can see, OctaVerify with push notification is still enabled. This must be disabled first before you disable OctaVerify, or the upgrade cannot be performed. To correct this, you'll need to uncheck the option and set OctaVerify to either Optional or Required, then save the policy. Now that the policy has been saved, we can now re-edit the policy and you can see that OctaVerify push notification is unchecked. And we can now disable OctaVerify in the policy to remove the technical blocker. Now it is important to note that when this technical blocker is identified during the upgrade assessment, you should review any multi-factor policy that has OctaVerify disabled in the org to confirm OctaVerify with push notification has in fact been disabled prior to OctaVerify being disabled from that policy.